So this is going to be a demonstration of how to use the Survey Grid Square web application. So the first thing you're going to want to do is zoom in on the map to the county that you're interested in surveying in. You'll notice that the color of the county will disappear and it will be replaced with these grid squares that you can choose to select. So I'm going to zoom in on the map. I'm looking at Moraine State Park. I'm going to go ahead and click on my selection button. You'll notice that it turns uh, blue. That means it's been selected and ready to use. The drop down arrow next to the selection tool gives you different ways that you can make a selection. I'm going to go ahead and stick with point for now. And I'm going to click on a square. There should be something that shows up in the grid square selection box. There is a glitch in the system for whatever reason when you use the point option. But all you need to do to fix that problem is just click in a different square and then click back again in the square that you're interested in. And then you will notice that an identification number shows up. That's what's supposed to happen. So this identification number is specific to this particular grid square. So if that's the one that you want to select, go ahead and click on that identification number. And then you'll notice that a claim form will show up in the um, right side of your screen. So you wanna go ahead and switch the claim status from unclaimed to claimed. You're gonna to wanna to enter your IMAP Invasive Person ID number. The way that you obtain that number is if you go to the Pennsylvania IMAP Invasives website, which is paimapinvasives.org, go ahead and click on the login button. If you don't already have a login account, you'll wanna sign up for one here. If you do already have an account, go ahead and enter your existing login credentials. And then the database will load. And from there, you'll go to the upper left corner of your screen, click on the main menu and go to where it says your account. And then from there, you'll see there is a number where it says person ID. This is the number that we're interested in. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that number and paste it right in here. And then from there, go ahead and continue filling in the form with your email address, your first and last name and today's date and click submit. And that's it. That's all you have to do to claim your grid square. If you want to make sure that your, uh, your grid square did indeed get claimed, if you reload the application and then go down here to where it says view claim grid squares, uh, there is a place where it says none. If you go ahead and you click on that and either type in or select your um, IMAP and basis person ID number, you'll notice that one number over here does show up. That is the grid square that you just claimed. You can actually go ahead and click on that and it will zoom to that location where you claimed your grid square. And you'll notice then that um, the color of that grid square has been filled in, indicating that it is claimed and no one else can claim that, that square at this time. So that's it. If there is any questions on how to use the map, there is a link down here at the bottom that you can click on. And that will take you to a story map that's been created specifically for this event. And it has um, all the information that you need to know about how to use the map um, and other details associated with uh, surveying for Tree of Heaven at Spotted Lanternfly. So this upper uh, horizontal navigation pane is a way that you can quickly get to any of the um, categories within the story map. So it's a quick way to advance to those locations. So that's it. And thanks for listening.